The government of Ethiopia opened a brand new scientific museum in the nation's capital, Addis Ababa, as part of its effort to overhaul the country's digital infrastructure. The facility's opening was celebrated as a step forward in imagining the role of technology in Africa's digital transformation during the Pan-African Conference on Artificial Intelligence 2022. The Ethiopian Museum of Art and Science, presently one of the largest and most cutting-edge science museums in Africa, is situated in front of the National Palace and behind the Sheraton Addis Hotel. The massive museum can be found nestled imposingly on a 7-hectare plot of land, large enough to fit close to 10 soccer fields. The giant museum is covered with about 80% of greenery, reflecting the global inclination towards environmental sustainability and climate change mitigation. The museum grounds offer was the young and old, a place to inquire, innovate, and invent. The museum's parking spaces and walkways are beautifully intertwined with the other recently constructed lovely urban parks, which boasts some of the most magnificent landscapes and vibrant colors, as well as a wide variety of plant and animal life. These parks contain over 4,000 indigenous trees, plants, and colorful flowers, and are also embedded with several cozy lounging spaces throughout the wonderful museum garden, allowing guests to relax and take in the beautiful scenery. The dome-shaped science museum is the first of its kind in Africa, and would act as a hub for the conception and birth of new scientific discoveries that will aid Ethiopia's economic growth and development. In addition, it aims to act as a research hub and repository for many technologies, both old and new, to be passed on to the next generation of global citizens. The Science Museum forms a significant component of Addis Ababa's Riverside Green Development Project Phase 2 and is supported by China. Its layout includes two major building complexes and several interactive displays that highlight local innovations in a range of sectors, including manufacturing, robotics, financial services, healthcare, and cybersecurity. The circular design of the 160,000 square feet and 30 feet high facility is designed to demonstrate perpetual development and human intelligence, while it is also considered to be a reflection of Ethiopia's commitment to the future of technology. In the heart of the museum, there are around 14,000 square meters of permanent and temporary exhibition rooms that are totally soundproofed, providing visitors with a sense of quiet and allowing them to fully immerse themselves in the show in solitude. The human condition domain of the museum allows visitors to delve into some of humanity's most pressing issues, ranging from nourishment to breakthroughs in medicine. It's a site where you can see how traditional herbal treatment is giving way to new frontiers in individualized medicine. The Herbology Museum exhibits the progression of herbal treatment from traditional to individualized medicine. It is easy to see how traditional herbal remedies have been used throughout history to cure various problems and how contemporary research is contributing to the advancement of the medical industry. The data and mobility in the room of systems can be very helpful in providing a unique perspective that explains the subtleties of how connected technologies affect human progress and the influence of a mobility ecosystem on people's movements and the technology they use to accomplish it. In addition, the rooftop of the museum's main building is home to green spaces and a solar farm. From where anyone can enjoy a meal at the rooftop cafe and take in the breathtaking views of a city while seeing the stars in a planetarium that is a first of its type. With the aid of cutting-edge technology, its shows will investigate astronomy, geology, and biology-related subjects and virtually transport viewers from Earth to space to study phenomena on topics ranging from the infinite to the microscopic in its three-dimensional cinema with a 79 feet height and 4,800 square feet size that can house up to 200 people at once. The contemporary amphitheater in the center of the museum will host exhibitions and performances by regional and worldwide artists the Ethiopia Museum of Art and Science also features offices, dedicated laboratories for students and researchers, sound studios for scientists and artists, 
and a VIP lounge in addition to themed indoor and outdoor cafes and stores for guests and employees. The vast and magnificent museum in Addis Ababa is quite easy to navigate and offers a little bit of everything. The museum features a wide range of exhibitions that are informative, inspiring, and amusing, including ancient art, modern science, and contemporary artworks. Whether you're looking for a place to catch up on the latest trends or simply want to relax with friends, the exhibition spaces at the museum are the ideal place to take a break from your busy day and enjoy some world-class entertainment. The multi-million dollar megastructure, which was co-financed by the federal government in China, is thought to have cost close to $20.5 million to build and is expected to offer young people workshop possibilities. Abiy Ahmed, Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, praised the Science Museum as a demonstration of Ethiopia's attention to science and technology in his remarks during the inaugural ceremony. He referenced Ethiopia's digital economy strategy, which began implementation two years ago as evidence of the country's dedication to the sector. The Prime Minister also complimented the Artificial Intelligence Institute as one of the government institutions working to help the country's digital transformation efforts and praised its promising ability to conduct problem-solving research. Mr. Ahmed also expressed his hope that the museum will inspire young people to think creatively and serve as a breeding ground for innovative ideas. Mr. Antonio Pedro, acting executive secretary of the Economic Commission for Africa, reaffirmed the ECA's commitment to leveraging ethical AI and innovation for Africa's development. The necessity to continuously investigate the contribution of artificial intelligence to Africa, as well as the kind of ethics that should be followed when employing the technology, was emphasized throughout the event. Mr. Pedro emphasized the various digital technology transformation projects sponsored by the Economic Commission for Africa to fully realize the potential of emerging technologies and sustain economic development on the continent. Machine learning, big data, and infrastructure expansion were all identified as key potential for the information and communications technology sector to thrive. Despite the benefits of artificial intelligence, some researchers have cautioned that prudence should be exercised to avoid inadvertent and potentially detrimental repercussions, such as when artificial intelligence is not employed ethically and professionally. During the event, the need for African representation in the International Artificial Intelligence Conference was also emphasized. It is anticipated that Ethiopia's rich indigenous knowledge, science, and art would be further curated by the newly launched Science Museum with cutting-edge technological developments. Through bilateral cooperation in artificial intelligence research, product development, and services delivery, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa is committed to helping the Science Museum improve and impact the health, education, agriculture, and transportation sectors, as well as public security and safety. That sums up our video for the day. If you enjoyed this video, watch the next one on your screen that discusses how Ethiopian Airlines is set to launch Nigeria's new national carrier Nigeria Air. Be sure to leave a comment, give the video a like, and subscribe to the channel for more informative future videos.